What's up, dude? Time there. What's up, dude? Forget. Earlier on, I had a long meal. So now we go for the dessert. Local Chinese dessert. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. You know, I know all of you are hung up with all the I don't know this new kind of desserts and all that. But me, being an uncle, I love all the old school desserts like the Chinese kueh. You know, like kueh kosui, sago kueh. Uh, of course, yeah, kuih tutu, it's quite nah. Lu old school, lu ho. I mean, why do I love uh, old school food like this? Don't let this Amor looks fool you. Uh. Let's make one thing clear first. This side is my French side, this is my Chinese side. I'm half French, half Chinese. Eurasian, ah. Uh. Now you know my secret. You know, I, I absolutely love to come to shops like this. Gives off a very old school vibe. You know, just look at this. That I mean taken from supplier, but you know, these are biscuits that, oh my gosh, every child loves, you know. I, I think even until now, when I was young, I still remember, I always eat the, the sugar part and then throw the biscuit away. Gems, biscuit gems. Don't you guys just love this? Big ears, still he. But today, what I'm going to order, you see that? Tapioca cake and kuih kosui. Apparently, she makes it herself. I love things that are made in-house, in the store, and not from my factory. Uh, waiting for my turn. Excited. The ngoh hyong, the fried popiah, the hei piah chi. That's the tapioca cake. I really am super excited when it comes to xiao chi or desserts like this. Desserts like this really brings back very good memories of days when I was young, during kindergarten time. So my grandfather had a shop in China Street. And in the 70s, when government started relocating uh, those push carts that were along the streets, many of them went to the back alley to set up store and that was called Abwe Hang la. we call that Abwe Hang Pasar many of the stores are still operating right now and you know where they are at? Kim Hua Pasar Maxwell Market not many but a few of the store owners in Maxwell Market yes I do know them they have seen me since I was young and one of the stores that was in the back alley market was a stall that sells onde onde and you know things like this like chu si kue and kue kosui that stall is still at Maxwell Road right now huh? kueh like this was a staple in my diet when I was young like what I told you guys before I've been in prison many years and you know in prison you don't get this lah so now it's like my way of like catching up on all the food that I've missed yay I'm gonna put on weight I put on like 10 kilos already but you know what the heck you only live once right so here I go first let's go for the sweet then the savoury Tapioca cake or chiu zi kue. What I like about this chiu zi kue is it's not sweet. It's not overtly sweet. As I take bites into it, I'm not joking. Every single bite that I have, it gives me memories of when I was young. You know, that little cute Amor boy running about in Chinatown, you know. Good memories, good memories. Wow, this kuih kosui is soft, huh? I like it already. Guys, confirm, huh? I kid you not, confirm, pass. The kuih kosui and uh, tapioca cake. The auntie just fried only, lah. this hepiachi. Any hepiachi that's warm and crispy is always good, lah. It's very, very nice. If given a choice, huh? you ask me what do I eat? It's not so tough. I go for xiao each and every time. I tell you what guys, I gotta eat 